Hey everybody, how y'all doing today? My name is Tay, and welcome back to my channel, Inspire Me, where I talk about current or relatable topics, all from a godly perspective. And today's topic is called, Who Are You Paying Homage To? Now, I was thinking, I was going back and forth with different titles, because I wanted to talk about a couple of things, but I think this is the, the, the title I wanted to go for. Now, what I mean by this title are you paying how much to like are you gonna go with tradition you know culture or kingdom meaning like say for instance if you live in a faraway country you know certain countries believe in certain things like other gods um statues and all this other stuff um even in different i don't know like other ethnicities but i know like in the black community it's like on New Year's, they um making um uh, black eyed peas or something. Also, to um, I heard so many superstitions growing up. Um, it's also another one I heard. Um, it says you sweep in the floor or something, someone's feet. The person had to spit on the um uh, the um broom so they don't get bad luck. Like I learned a long time ago in church, the only bad luck there is is to go to miss heaven and go to hell. That's the only bad luck. Um, also, too, if you split a pole, I say for instance, two people walk in, and one person go on this side of the pole, and the other person go on the other side of the pole. The person you have to turn back, right back around and go on the other side of the other person if they don't. Bad luck. Also, too, if you break a mirror, we all know if you have a mirror and it's broken, somebody break it. That's was it seven years of bad luck. I can go on and on about superstitions. I learned growing up you feel me and if you look at it the definition of, of a superstition I forgot to bring it with me but that's something when I looked it up it was like giving reverence to something something that you believe so strongly okay why are you believing something so strongly that's not Jesus Christ if you're believing so something so strongly we know what your faith is in you feel me your faith is not in Jesus Christ. If you're believing that, oh, if I break a mirror and seven years of bad luck, something that man came up with, then you got to look at it like you putting your belief in man-made stuff. You feel me? There's so many times I don't crack mirrors. There's so many times I don't split poles. There's so many times I don't um saw black cats. That's another one. There's so many times I didn't even eat... Um, black eyed peas and nothing bad happened to me you know why because i don't believe in that foolishness you feel me i believe in jesus christ and it's not to you know, bash anybody or anything who do believe in that however you have to think about it if you're a believer of christ that shouldn't be on your mind also too you gotta look at it like i know some people say oh um if it's um, made by law, you feel me, then it's right. Just because it's made by law doesn't mean it's right, you feel me? If you look at it, same-sex are allowed to get married, you feel me, by law. Does that make that right? Is that right in God's eyesight? No. Um, you can look at it, too. Um, um, it's a lot of stuff that the, the, um, the other countries, they serve foreign gods. You feel me? That's right in their eyesight. But is that right by God? You feel me? Also, too, if you look at the referring back to the story where Ruth, when she met Bullet, Bullet visited her um, to go back to their hometown. And their hometown was pretty much serving false gods. And Orpah, she didn't want to, but she, she did finally. She went back. But just because she went back, she wasn't blessed. She was serving false gods. You feel me? Ruth, she didn't go back. She stayed with Naomi. And she served the true and living God. And she got blessed with Boaz. You feel me? And God knows what else she got blessed with. You feel me? She got to look at it just because it's right by, I guess, law. You feel me? Doesn't mean that it's right by God's standard. You feel me? Just because it was your tradition grew up doing that a certain thing a certain way you feel me you, you grew up in a foreign country and it was okay to worship statues it was okay to 
do certain things, do magic, and it doesn't mean that it's right in God's eyesight. You feel me? So think about that. You feel me? So I just wanted to pretty much say a quick prayer to pretty much bring um 2021 in. Y'all feel me? So um, I'm gonna turn this around because yeah, I need y'all to focus on the prayer, not me. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna let y'all see the river <laughs> instead of me turning it down. So yeah, let me just say a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, decrease me in the flesh as you increase me in the spirit, God. I praise your name. I thank you, Lord, for this year, God. 365 days, God, and, and I made it alive. So many of us made it alive, God. And I just thank you. I praise your holy name, God. I know so many times where, you know, I've been traveling and just doing different things. And I know I could have caught the virus, but... God, you see fit to protect me, God. You protect that a lot of us, God. And there's some people who even had it, and you know, you protected them and you blessed them. And I thank you, Lord, for your protection and your love in Jesus' holy name, God. Even though some people say 2020 was not their year, and I know I do agree that you know a lot of unfortunate things did happen. However, if you're a son of God. You will look out for your people and i can say that you have looked out for me and my family and i am so gracious god thank you jesus i just pray god even with the 2021 that people um get rid of tradition god that people get rid of superstition because that is not of you in jesus holy name god I know some people, you know, are not born again, so they may not know, but God, but, you know, as a believer of Christ, God, I just pray, God, that we know that just because it's right in, you know, the the government or the law or whatever, it doesn't mean that it's right by your standards. So I pray, God, that's what measure we look to. That's what we pay homage to you in Jesus' holy name, God, to your statue, to your ways. In Jesus' name, God. Help us to forsake anything that's not like you. In Jesus' name. So many times I see that people, um, even like when this year first came about, you know, when it was like 2019 going to 2020, when people did that countdown, three, two, one, happy new year. And they were so happy. But January 1st of 2020, somebody passed away. Or a lot of people passed away. You feel me? In the exact same way with... 2021 even though some people might see the countdown it's somebody that might pass away you know two hours i'm sorry january 1st or even you know the whole year well you know within the whole year so i'm just praying that we all give our life to you god because one thing we can't say for certain it don't matter when our time comes but if we have a heart and it belongs to you you will make a way and we will see you again <laughs> on the other side so i thank you so much god but that's what we have to do god when it's our time we have to give our life to you no playing around it's time out to be doing parties and doing all this other stuff that really don't result to nothing like god say um what does it mean to gain the whole world and still lose your soul so many celebrities this just think it's you know they just have the glitz and glamour and all this money and everything have all the party all the fame all the likes on instagram you know subscribers but what what does that mean if you was to lose your soul right now you feel me and you burn in the hell you can have the cutest little body the nicest shape all the, the nicest money you feel me but what does that mean if it's burning up up, up in hell you feel me Head don't care nothing about you got a nice booty. <laughs> Head don't care nothing about oh you had a lot of money. Head don't care nothing about oh you had a lot of friends. You had a lot of subscribers. Head don't care nothing about that. You feel me? So that's what I'm praying. In 2021, a lot of souls come to you. What you say in your word? Even if one soul come to you, the angels will rejoice. Well, I'm praying God that many souls come to you in 2021. In Jesus' holy name, God, I just thank you, Lord, so much for this year. I thank you, Lord, for keeping me and my family. I thank you, Lord, for your protection. And I'm just, I'm expecting greater 
things for 2021. In Jesus' holy name, God, I pray.